Hey everybody, this is The Last of the GameCube. Welcome back to more Okami. In the last episode, we got, uh, explored the River of Heavens and got our very first two brush techniques. Be thankful because it's the last time we'll ever get two brush techniques. Last time we'll ever get more than one brush technique in a single video. Yeah, that's not gonna happen again. Anyways, in this episode, we're going to be exploring Kamiki Village. Now that we've cut down the fruit of Sakuya's labor, her <laughs> her. Anyways, I haven't been paying attention at all yet. Actually, if you power slash those... Oh, it doesn't yield anything yet. Okay. Or... Oh, yeah, it doesn't do anything yet. Get over the fence, damn! Anyways, over here... We have to examine these statues. What in the world? I don't remember there being a statue here. Well... Whatever, let's just go talking to the villagers. Hey, there's a statue here too! It's not what Mocker's looking around, is it? No, that ro giant roar came from Sakuya! Of course it was a monster. Anyways, if you try to tackle them... Are you nuts? What do you think you're doing? Yeah, he's afraid that we're just gonna keep going. Uh, actually, wait. Oh, it is dialogue. Okay, so it's... Yeah, anyways, there was a statue that we passed by earlier. Let's talk to that thing. Well, observe it, not talk to it. Yeah, I basically spoiled that those statues are actually people! Hooray! Oh, whatever. Anyways, now we have to get the ta crazy taxi arrows to get- uh, bleh, Crazy taxi arrow to get above ground. God, I cannot speak anymore. <laughs> I swear, I can't go through one or two sentences without messing up a single word. Definitely something weird going on. <gasps> no, I couldn't tell. Sun's not even out. Yeah, we need to get a brush technique. If you could draw a circle, we'd have a sun. That's impossible. Unless if we had that kind of power from the start. Which we do. That was not a circle, <laughs> I swear. It's a Matarasu. That is the name of the sun god. Yeah, uh, his grand he said that his grandfather was an artist that went through with Shiranui. I think he said that. Who are you? Bouncing Orange! Bing, bing, bing. Village Elder Mr. Orange. A white wolf. Not the one who fought that terrible creature with Nagi? <laughs> He couldn't possibly be the legendary Shiranui. No, it can't be. But that story is a hundred years old. Still, you look a lot like that statue of Shiranui. On the other hand, you don't look quite as smart. <laughs> ah, Matarasu is like, who are you calling dumb? <laughs> whoa, 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 no need to growl like that. Can you really understand what I'm saying? Well, I'm not one to mince words, I just state the facts. Mr. Orange and I will get along just great. I, st I state the facts myself. Means you get a bunch more green imps. And he's asking what the sudden chill is. The monsters that are that chill. Those are the monsters that have been plaguing these lands. Yeah. They sneak into villages and cause all sorts of trouble. Time to fight them. Step aside, furball. This is a job for my trusty sword, Dekomaru. <laughs> like your sword is ever going to make a difference. Dramatic replacement. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. This is basically the same fight as before. Only this time, instead of two ends, you have to fight three. I better get out of the way. I wanted to get those demon fangs before they despawn. Nope. Demon fang. Oh yeah, six. Seven right now if it weren't for anyone's others. I can't stop dash dancing, I swear. We've restored the pond. We brought the pond back to life. Hooray! And we get our first Encounter of praise. You're not going to get this pra as much praise for some time. 
yourself some praise. Yeah, I just said that, soon. <laughs> basically, he's telling us that we can you collect praise. We basically just collect praise from other people who we try to get them to believe in us. And the praise will make us stronger. Yeah, unlike in other games where fighting makes you stronger, in this game, side quests, makes you, side quests make you stronger. Because you have more people believe in you. The more side quests you do, the more people who more people will believe in you. So basically, yeah, that will make you stronger. Spear Globe S. I really should not have collected those. Anyways, we actually got a... We just got a feed bag of seeds. Press Z to feed an animal. And... I am at peace. I am a whale. I am ready to find my mate. And I shall call for them. I want to skip this cutscene. Wow, that must have really peaked. <laughs> I, got, I can't wait to hear what that's going to be like in editing. <laughs> That's gonna be delirious, I swear. <laughs> then again, I can get pretty loud whenever I want to be. If only I don't have the limited headphones here anyways. On over here, you can just press C to dig. I forgot to mention that at the beginning of the episode because I forgot about that function. Anyways, here we get travel charms. Yeah, you're gonna find a lot of stuff buried underground and I gotta get back up there. Because if we jump off of that boardwalk up there, well, mini boardwalk, over, you'll find two chests. One, the one on the top has straight, I mean, glass beads that we can sell, but the one up here is the one that we want. That's the stray bead. Anyways, yeah, I've never landed on top of those at all yet, and I think that. I think the chests open depending on which door, what angle we perform the power slash on. I think that we've only gone 10 minutes so far. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not look. I'm looking at my audio recorder, which is actually the same application I use to edit and create my music and edit it. So yeah, I'm not able to. Well, hello. I've never done that before. That's cool. That was cool. Straybeard, and that is an excellent pose, Amaterasu. <laughs> okay. And now that we got those, we're going to be checking out the other villagers now that they're all free. And if I'm not mistaken, there's... No, there's not. At least not yet. Okay, so over here, we get another treasure chest in here, and I believe this one contains dragonfly beads. There are at least five types of treasures that we can sell. Let's save a bunch of ink. I'm just gonna cover you with ink. Yeah, that doesn't use up any ink pots at all. <laughs> as odd as that is, that's the way it rolls. <laughs> I can't believe I said it with that. Then again, that's basically my, pretty much my staple accent that I've ever used in anything in my life. Anyways, I know you can wall jump this. Good. And this is an exorcism slip S, which basically just is basically just a paper bomb. Yeah, it's, it's paper depicting holy incantation, slightly damages nearby enemies. Yeah, if you use this in the battlefield, it performs an explosion that knocks them out. There are three stages. There are three intensities: A S, M, and L. S small, M for medium, and L for large. The exorcism slip L. Holy God, it's powerful. Anyways, we don't want to go over here yet. We want to talk to this kid over here. Yeah, I think we can beat my dog Hayabusa. <laughs> of course we can beat your dog Hayabusa. We're freaking god. So basically, talk to him again. He wants us to dig up all the turnips in his mother's garden. So yeah, dig up all the turnips. And if she slaps us, it resets. So basically, there are two ways that you can stun her. Power slash the top of her head. Well, effectively. Th technically, there are three ways that you can stun her. 
Power slash her body like that. Power slash the bucket on her head. Which, well, power slashing her body just doesn't really do anything. Power slashing the bucket on her head is more effective at keeping her at bay. But the one that I find most effective is covering her with ink because it's just as effective as power slashing the bucket on her head but only it doesn't do it doesn't waste any ink and that's literally the method I always use I'm using that method for a lot of playthroughs right now at least 10 playthroughs if I'm not mistaken what well, 100% playthroughs? Well, I said that I've done 15 100% playthroughs of this game, but that's not including the 100% playthrough I've done of this game's New Game Plus. Yeah, there is a New Game Plus to this game. And that also doesn't include the three heart run I've done of this game, which is actually pretty easy if you play this game enough times. Anyways, now that we got the oddly shaped turnip, after dig that's literally the 10th one that we dig up. It's oddly shaped, that means he broke High Bruce's records by digging up all 10 turnips. Yeah, he gives us seven praise for doing that. At least that was actually a required portion of the game, that wasn't just for fun. Anyways, over here we get two more treasures. Actually, no, that's just one more treasure. One treasure, a vase, and we get a bale of rice. Yeah, I filled up my astral pouch off screen because I always keep my astral. I always fill up my astral pouch in the river of heavens. Mm. Here, more glass beads and a rabbit statue. Okay, I think that's all the treasures we can get in Kamiki Village at the t at this moment. Actually, wait. If I'm not mistaken. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that just yet. I don't think we can. Mm, over here now, we can talk to Mrs. This woman, the lovely wife of Mr. Orange, Mrs. Orange! Okay, so yeah, basically... When I've covered the monsters, their history, yeah. Isn't you soon riding on a wolf, are you? So basically, she wants us... To, we have to talk to her again. She wants us to... She lost her pole, so she wants us to get a new one for her. So yeah, we just rejuvenate that one for her. A new drying pole? Where did that come from? The gods must have answered my prayers. Yeah. Anyways, she said that she was glad that she was able to get this done, but if only the sun would come closer to her laundry, it would dry in an instant. So let's draw the sun. Well, I already drew the sun when I said that. <laughs> so yeah. I'm already way ahead of my word. My actions are already way ahead of my word. So now that she's done that for us, we not only get seven praise, but she says that we she'll give us some cherry cakes if we come back later in the nighttime. I'm. Anyways, actually, wait. No, there's one more treasure that we can get. What the melon? Uh, it's in here, I believe. Actually, no, it's not in here. Wrong house. Actually, wait. This is actually an interesting house. I think this is Mushi's house, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the kid that we got the oddly shaped turn for. I think this is his house. And this... Is Mr. Orange's house. Power slash this. And you dig over here. You get a treasure chest that holds a coral fragment. It's heralded from the Dragon Palace. Yeah, I like how that pot looks like an orange too. Mm, coming over. No. Anyways, power slash this. Now that we've brought the fruit back to life, we get a Kamiki orange. Feels the astral pouch a lot better than a regular orange. Well, a lot more than a regular orange. Darn it, I missed the last one. Okay. Yeah, you got a bunch of chickens here and a... I believe a turnip, but yeah. I'm gonna keep going up ahead. Well, do that. I'm going to talk to this woman here. What if I look 
Ding Wolf, what's your name? Mine's Coochie, it's a pleasure to meet you. Sake Brewer Kushi, working in the fields again, are ya? Listen, are you and the wolf together? This is where I grew the rice for making my sake, you know, but I have to manage the heart stall all on my own. It's hard work. Maybe I should have Susano giving a hand this again this year. Yeah, she... Basically... We already know that. I forgot to explain this before, but if you see an arrow under a person... Underneath a person's head thought bubble, that means they have something additional to say. Something else to say. Well, they have something different to say. Anyways, yeah, I think we've said everything that we need to say. I didn't want to skip... I just wanted to skip all that because I already know what she says. And I didn't feel like repeating it to everyone. Anyways, we're gonna save... Actually, no, we're not gonna save yet. I also wanted to explain this earlier. If you have seen the first episode... If you are not sure about getting this game, just... And you've already seen the episode, you might want to see more than just the first episode. Okay? So, yeah. I know we didn't get much done, but at least it's better than nothing. I... Hold on, let me check the time. That's not four minutes, that was at least ten. I think I'm going to... Go over to this guy over here. Examine. Heave ho, oh, this is weird. My mind really wants to ship this rock. That right, merchant doesn't want to ship the rock. Because there's a demon plague holding him down. This is a red imp. Kind of like a green imp, only it has a guitar for a weapon and a shield, believe it or not. It takes a few power slashes to take these things down. More than usual. Darn it. Oh, hello. I forgot the... I completely forgot this does more damage than this. Sweet. Oh, yeah. I actually suck with the weapon. This current weapon. Anyways, he got per perfect amount of money. Actually, more. Than perfect. Get 30 praise. Now we have 69 praise. Hooray! Oh, God, I'm so immature. <laughs> I um, mean, you suddenly started glowing. Yeah, that means... Yeah, he's explaining the fact that we get praise. Well, actually, he's explaining that we get praise and that we can use praise to upgrade. Yeah, if you get all the required praise, you'll be able to get enough praise to upgrade a solar energy or ink pot. Personally, I do not recommend upgrading solar energy until, like, after completing at least a third of the game. Or at least until after upgrading all your ink. Because, yeah, ink is the most important of your upgradables in this game. You can upgrade solar energy, which is your health, ink pots, astral pouch, and purses. The astral pouch can only be upgraded three times, and I do not recommend upgrading that until at least after the first half of the game. The purse... Yeah, you don't, you're a long way from upgrading this. But you're going to need to upgrade all your ink as soon as possible. Otherwise, you're not going to do well. Yeah, everything is going to be too hard if you don't upgrade it. Let's just say. You coming back to you or what? Yeah. Bruce, keep up the old good work. Check up on that dude. Yeah. Shit's better. There's no way I can get back to the city now. Say, pup, you're the one who lives in the village, right? So you must be, see, know that guy, Susana. Can you get him for me? Yeah. He says that Susano is the descendant of Nagi. He is a powerful warrior. Anyways, but we're not going to do that just yet. We're going to do that next time, okay? So next time on Okami, we are going to go to the Warrior Susano. And we're going to have him summon the Warrior Susano to break that rock, okay? See you guys then.